One way of making a flaming knife would be to dip the knife in gasoline and light it up. That would do the trick, but that's not what's going on here. Another way would be to make the knife itself out of a flammable material, like wood. That would last a little bit longer, but it would get destroyed in a few minutes. And as you can see, this is metal. You probably already noticed this kind of looks like a torch. And kind of is. But a very fancy torch that is going to revolutionize jet engines forever. A regular torch has a source of flammable gas. This one uses butane and uses a bunch of holes and a venturi effect to pull in air and burn said butane gas. The keyword here is holes. Do you see any holes in this knife? You probably don't. But they are there. Millions and millions of microscopic holes through which the gas flows through. Now, as you might imagine, you don't really drill millions of microscopic holes, I think. You need to find a better way of doing it. And the way this knife came to be involves a very weird problem that was solved by a very annoying problem. So there's this company called CAC and they make bread and bread related products like pizza. They make a lot of bread, like an ungodly amount of bread. They make so much bread indeed that they have to automate the entire process. And one of the steps of making bread is cutting and scoring the bread dough. The problem is that bread dough is sticky. It sticks to itself and to the robots cutting it. That's the weird problem. Now, CAC is a big company. They make bread and everyone eats bread. So they make a lot of money. They make so much money, in fact, that they decide to open a metal 3D printing department called K3D. And they buy not one, but two metal 3D printers called Metal Fab 1. The Metal Fab 1 is a very expensive industrial metal 3D printer that costs more than a million dollars. And the reason for it being so expensive is that it's really, really good. The first companies to buy this machine were SpaceX, Airbus and CAC. This type of metal 3D printer uses metal powder and a very strong laser to melt that powder and draw layers on top of each other. If everything goes according to plan, in the end, you get a metal part. Here's the annoying problem. Things don't go according to plan because CAC makes bread and metal 3D printing is a completely different affair. For the part to come out right, the laser needs to have precisely the right intensity and move at the right speed. In the case that the laser moves too fast or it doesn't have enough intensity, the powder doesn't get completely melted and you get pores. Millions and millions of pores. Do you see where I'm going with this? CAC notices the problem and decides it's actually an awesome feature. So they patent the mistake, I mean the technology. They use this technology to make unstickable knives that are able to cut the bread dough and make the robots happy again. This is the knife they use to score the bread dough and it basically works like air hockey. They push the air through the blade which creates a thin membrane that doesn't allow even the stickiest of stuff to stick. Now, I'm a big fan of bread, but my true passion is jet engines, and as soon as I laid eyes on this, I realized the potential. You see, a jet engine is similar to a torch. Their main purpose is to burn fuel. Actually, the main purpose of a jet engine is to generate thrust, but anyway, the big difference in a jet engine is that instead of using naturally aspirated air, you use a compressor to push as much air as possible into the combustion chamber to burn as much fuel as possible. The problem is that when you force a bunch of air at high speed into combustion, you blow the combustion out. The enemy here is turbulence, and a great way to solve the problem is to push the air through a porous diffuser that will smoothly deliver the air into the combustion. This is just a theory that I have, and before I can metal 3D print a jet engine with this fancy technology, well, I need to do some tests with this knife I borrowed from K3D. I stole it. Okay, this is the first test with butane. I felt it in my hand. That's pretty cool. Can I put it up? Nope, not really. <laughs> it's so freaky. You know what would be more intense? Testing it with hydrogen. Okay, now uh, I connected hydrogen to this. Let's give it a test. <laughs> That's so weird. It burns so differently. Can you even see it on camera? <laughs> Do you know that hydrogen burns at 2000 degrees Celsius? Do you know what would make this even more intense? An oxidizer. I think I'm gonna connect this with air. But because I only have one inlet into the knife, I think I'm gonna have to share it. It's not very safe, but uh, yeah, I wanna test it. There you go. Now I'm gonna give it a little bit of air. No air. Air. It's still, it's still getting hot though. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, 
you see that? Look, it's red hot. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Do you think if I use this to cut bread, it's gonna like make instant toast? Let's give it a try. Okay, here I have my baguettes. I'm gonna turn on the knife and try to hot cut this uh, bread and make some toast. Let's see if it works. Ah, it's so hot. Jesus Christ, my hand can't take it even with a glove, it's too hot. I can feel it in my forehead. So now I have uh, two sets of gloves, this one and this one, which is uh, for my uh, oven, my kiln. Jesus! The bread, you want it very toasty. It's literally charring the bread. Mmm, carbon. I mean, a little bit of butter wouldn't make it worse. Oh, it's working. There you go. That's pretty good. But you know what? I'm not a big fan of butter. Why don't we try maybe cheese? Yeah, let's try cheese. There you go. Yes. That's the way. You know what? Should probably char some tomatoes. And maybe some bacon. I mean, I'm gonna eat the bacon. The tomatoes is just for fun. Oh! Yes. Ah, die, you bastard! Die! Yeah! Oh, it's burning. Look at this. This is what I call a barbecue. That's a nice sound. That's pretty good. You want some? Yes. I was just thinking, this knife is pretty cool. It's so cool that I would like to show it to people. Maybe I can show it at Open Source later this year. Open Source is this event which is made for makers. Thousands of people get together to show what they made. And I think this knife is something interesting to bring this year. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not gonna be easy to get this through security, but I'll give it a try. The event will happen between the 15th and 16th of June in San Francisco, California. If you want to be an exhibitor and show your project, it's completely free and you can go to the Friday party with the exhibitors and creators. If you just want to be at the event, you can also just buy a ticket. Just go to opensauce.com. I'll leave a link in the description. I hope I see you there. And if I want to take this knife and make it work, well, I'm gonna need a portable compressor. I'm thinking of building a blower fan like those you use for air mattresses, except those are weak. I want to make a blower fan on steroids. They are pretty simple, it's just an impeller and a motor. I have this high performance impeller one of you guys sent me. Thank you, good sir. And I also have a 40,000 RPM motor. So let's get them together with a bit of 3D printing, shall we? Okie dokie, the compressor is very ready, so uh, my first test, in, I guess my only test, is to try and blow up this balloon. So I'm going to turn it on, but because this will be rotating at 40,000 RPM, I'm going to go under the table. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Success! <laughs> okay, let's test it with a knife now. 
so it's kind of working but i gotta say that um running this at 40,000 rpm right next to me is just scary i mean just by the sound you can hear it is just um unnerving uh, i think i'm gonna probably scare everyone at open source <laughs> i was just thinking you know what would make this knife a little bit more user friendly uh, besides removing the edge um a built-in ignition system i have this barbecue lighter that gives sparks uh, I think if I disassemble this, I can put everything somewhere on the handle. So let's give it a go. There you go. Okay. Oh, the circuit. And the circuit is off. Yep, still working. Okay, now I need to find a way to fix this in here. But because of this thing is here, I think I'm gonna have to desolder the battery and try to push it here. There you go. Now I can fix the battery here, like that. My fingers are too fat. Stay here and shut on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Let's get some stuff with this. Oh, the tip is where it's the hottest. This is my new favorite toy. I think I understand this technology now and I think I'm ready to 3D model a porous jet engine that is gonna be metal 3D printed. If you also like 3D printing, you're in luck because in this video, I'm giving away a 3D printer. And all you have to do to win it is subscribe to the channel, leave a like in this video and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will win a brand new 3D printer. Um, yeah, that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and remember, Tomatoes are disgusting. See ya!